What's up you guys? It's Coach Aaron from Full Circle Coaching and happy Tuesday. I wanted to come to you today and hopefully every Tuesday in the future for a new thing called Try Tip Tuesday. So, you know, wanted to try something different. Haha, <laughs> try something different. Um, related to triathlon, of course, where I can give you a suggestion or a quick tip or help you understand something that you might have trouble with regarding your triathlon training. So today is my first day, so it's great to see you guys. I haven't seen a lot of you in a long time just because of the situation, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments. So please post below if there's something in particular you'd like to learn about. So today I wanted to talk about setting goals, right? So we've all been kind of stuck inside and I'm totally ready to break out. I don't know about you guys. I am totally over this whole situation. And as Miami starts to open up and hope, hopefully the rest of the country, you know, we need to reset our goals. Some of us have not been really as focused as we could have been during this time. And it's totally understandable. It makes sense. But now's the time, right? Now's the time to get super specific again about where you want to go next in triathlon what you want to do with your body, how you want to get stronger, right? Now is the time to reset those goals and get really specific. So I'm going to give you a couple tips on what to do next. So your goals need to be pretty specific if you're going to really achieve them. Sometimes people write down these airy fairy goals like, I want to get in shape. Well, what does that mean to you, right? You need to get specific about your goals personally, okay? So it can be simple, like cross the line and a finish line of a triathlon, or it can get really detailed, like I want to run a five minute mile or a 10 minute mile or a 12 minute mile, if that's something that you're looking to get better at, right? So specific, really, really important. It can be about your body, about getting out of pain, um, teaching your body how to burn fat um, and um, use the energy you're eating from your nutrition in a better way. Get better with your nutrition. These are all goals that you can be setting right now. You know, it's almost like the beginning of the season, right? Because, you know, that's what I do with my athletes in, in November, December, when triathlon season slows down a bit, we kind of refocus and plan our goals for the next year. Well, this is our chance to kind of do that again. So I recommend taking some time this week, you know, 15, 20 minutes and get quiet and really focus on some of the goals that you want to achieve. Um, and maybe make it a little bit of a scary goal, something that is a little bit out of reach because unless it challenges you, it's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be a big enough motivator for you to really take the action needed, right? So kind of challenge yourself. Maybe even ask yourself if this is really possible, right? Because those are the, gonna be the goals that you're gonna really work harder for. And those are the goals that when you actually achieve them, they will change your life forever. And that's what makes it so exciting. I have athletes come to me all the time with doubts about what's really possible for them in the sport and in their lifestyle. You know, can they achieve them? But when they do, it's so inspiring to see them. You know, it's the emotion that we're all after. It's the emotion of feeling that we accomplished the goal, right? That makes us really focus and actually get out there and do the work to achieve the goal. So after you set those intentions, and those goals, guess what? It's time to start moving, right? So making a plan and taking action are your next steps, right? You can write down these goals and then they're not gonna get done unless you start to move, right? So action creates motivation. It's always in that order. People think you need to have motivation first, but honestly, once you start moving, then your motivation starts to grow. You start to see your progress. You start to see your body change. You start to see your times drop and you get faster. And that's what keeps you motivated and moving forward. I also recommend making your goals visible, okay? So make sure on sticky notes around the house, on your bathroom mirror, in the kitchen, um, on your computer screen, right? Write them down in red ink as if they've already achieved, you've already achieved them. Be thankful and grateful for your strong, successful body, right? If you wanna become an Ironman this year, I am so grateful that I am an Ironman, right? So write these goals down so that you can see them all over the place so it'll help you stay motivated throughout the day. So also maybe even creating a vision board, it's kind of fun, and use images that evoke emotions, right? And right now, we still have a little time, at least down here in Miami, um, things are not really open yet. So some of us are still homebound. I'm super excited for you guys. This is, like I said, the beginning of the season again. And even though some of you might not have been as active as you'd like to, don't worry about it. Now's the time to reset. 
But I do have to say, there's a few of you that are at an advantage right now because over the last six weeks during quarantine, you actually haven't rested, right? And you've actually done some amazing things like set PRs on your one mile test or lost weight or got off your meds or, or got healthier with your nutrition. So you guys are at a little bit of an advantage if you stuck with it, but guess what? It's never too late. And today is the day that I really, really recommend you guys start getting excited. We're gonna be out of here soon, right? We're gonna be out and into the world again and focusing on what's coming up next. So I just also wanted to give you guys a quick heads up. I have a couple of new programs coming up. I have my beginner triathlon virtual tri training program coming up in June, and I'm doing a Q&A for that next week, so please keep a lookout. And I'm also gonna be doing a nutrition program, a six month long nutrition program that's gonna really help you dial in your lifestyle a healthy, holistic lifestyle around your triathlon training. So keep an eye out for that. And remember, comment and post below if you have any ideas for what you want to hear about next. I'm super excited about what's to come and I'm wishing you well as always.